stuck all these electrodes over his body to make him sick. How come? I thought they turned him straight. Seriously? That's insane. How old is he? 60, 70. Who is? The guest speaker of the assembly. I've got to introduce him. It's awful. They kicked him out of the Navy because he was gay. Yeah, no, they forced him to have this weird thing called... Ah, uh, conversion therapy. It's barbaric. Well, my brother Paul had a mate whose parents made him have it. Did it work? Yeah, yeah, he's living in Scunthorpe with a wife and kids. What do you think? I was just asking. Uh-oh. What? Tiger mum at one o'clock. I know. Whatever you do, don't say anything. Hey, mister! It's a big day. So Amy's gonna open up at work. I can give you a lift to school. We're fine getting the bus. It's freezing! Besides, I'm sure April and your friend would like a lift. Sure, I would. But well, he's got a hospital appointment, haven't you? Oh, sorry, I don't think we've met. Um, I'm Laurel, Arthur's mum. Wow, Miss... Hiya. Hi. That was really weird. What was? Arthur's new mate. Barely said a word to me. New mate? You mean Marshall? Oh, um, you didn't know. Marshall? What's he doing sitting out there with him after what's happened? Take a breath. I see, that boy is so forgiving. He's just gonna get hurt. I'm not so sure. No, he was in here yesterday, standing up for Arthur against his other meathead. Oh, no, 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 it'll be another stunt. He'll want to get into his good books, and then he'll try and humiliate him down the line. That Marshall, he is so sneaky and manipulative, he'll be probably setting up another sick joke, won't he? Um, oh, right, um, remember Arthur's big assembly? Maybe now's not the time for a slanging match. Oh, no, it'll be, it's fine. We can keep this between ourselves, don't you think, Marshall? I'm really sorry. I don't want to hear your excuses or your apologies, OK? Can you just stay away from my son? I'm trying to be his mate. No, no, no. This has just got to stop now. Or I will call the school and report you for harassment. Do you want to explain that to your parents? No, I didn't think so. If I see you hanging around him again, There'll be consequences. Do I make myself clear, love? Huh. Thank you. Excuse me. Tell you what, that boy is way too forgiving. This is bad in him. If he carries on like this, people are just going to walk all over him, aren't they? Well, it's not very likely with you around. No, nobody treats my son like that. Oh, hello, darling. How was the assembly? It was cancelled. Cancelled? What for? Why? Ask Miss Cathcart. Unforeseen circumstances, apparently. We all know what that means. I'm sure something just cropped up. Then why did we still have the assembly? The guy that came to talk to us was in a wheelchair. He came all the way from Glasgow just to be sent home. It was embarrassing. Right, that's just not on. I'm calling the school. You don't have to. No, no. <laughs> I do. Oh, no, 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 no. This is either rectified or I will not only be speaking to the Board of Governors, but also the press. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Goodbye. So I was right. Someone complained. Yeah. One lone idiot parent. Everybody else is on your side. Yeah, but they got their own way, though, didn't they? What can I say? Their brain needs rewiring. All you're trying to do, love, is teach tolerance and understanding, and they've got it pegged as some kind of recruitment drive. Oh, come on, you don't know that. <laughs> don't defend them. It's one assembly. 30 minutes in a year. Well, I've said to the school, we're not going to take this lying down, OK? Whoever complained... I think I'm a freak. Well, no. I'm dirty. That I'm sick somehow. No, the school have not said that. Well, why else would they complain? They must think being gay is wrong. That I'm wrong. Oh, they just didn't want to stir up the hornet's nest. You know, what? Well, you don't know, do you? They might have a kid who's gay and they, they might be trying to protect him. Or her. It was you, wasn't it? You called the school. You can't be serious. You can't honestly think that I would complain. I mean, what do you think I am? You practically just confessed. No, I didn't. I gave you an opinion. Your opinion? OK, fine. Well, I admit, I had my concerns. I knew it! Every time I talked about it, I could feel you squirming. Arthur, a few months ago, you weren't even out. And standing on a stage, you know, you, you're putting yourself out there. You become a target. So I should be grateful they cancelled it, then? No, but... But what? When I was your age, I was called all the names under the sun just because my skin was brown. I would have given anything to avoid that. 
And you can. What, so I should just go back in the closet? Keep quiet about who I am? Jay. No, of course not. You think I can do that? You're putting words in my mouth. Words you're too scared to say. You're as bad as they are. Arthur. You've got me all wrong. Arthur! Well done, you. Twenty... What are you doing? I just came to check on you. I know I got you must be about the assembly. I mean, why are you looking around? I wasn't. What? Am I bad for your image? Don't be para. You know what's funny? I'm gay, yet I'm pretty much the straightest person around here. What? Mum's boyfriend, the school, you. You all play games. None of you are straight with me. You make out you call me one minute and then the next. I stood up for you yesterday, didn't I? Big deal. I've got half the school laughing at me. I gave you a second chance because I thought you'd be honest. But if you're not, then what's the point? That bet. It was all their idea, Tom and Gus. I didn't want to do it. Then why did you? Have you ever tried to say no to Tom? There's some things. It's just easy to nod along. Easier for you. I didn't think it was going to happen. You made it happen. You told me to go outside. You asked me if I wanted to go out on a date. Yeah, but... What? You set me up. I was drunk. I didn't know they were going to be watching. Didn't know. I thought they'd be playing Mario Kart. So when you said all that stuff about going on a date, it wasn't part of the bit. Wow. Like I say. I'd had a drink. M we still could, if you wanted. You know, go somewhere quiet, like this. No one has to know. Forget it, it's a stupid idea. I'd like that. Ignore it. I shouldn't be here. What? Where are you going? Marshall!